Hey Craft Family, welcome back to Sea Runner Baby Design. My name is Kelly. On today's episodes, we are making three wreaths, all from the Dollar Tree. The first wreath I'm making is this welcome wreath. What you need is the welcome sign from the Dollar Tree, the wreath form, a 14 inch round wreath form. I picked this mesh up from Joanne Fabric. I didn't like the Dollar Tree mesh this year. So I went to Joanne Fabric. I did not pay $9.99 for this mesh. I actually got this for like $4.49 because they had a sale 40 plus 20% off coupon. So sometimes it's good to look around for the best mesh in town. Also got the Chanel stems. You'll need scissors or a rotary blade. You'll need a ruler. And also you'll need a good remote control to look at your favorite craft shows as well as when you do this reef as well as the whole the mesh down when you cut it. What you what I'm gonna do is go ahead, I have my hot glue gun ready over here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the welcome sign onto the reframe. So I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna you can pull it apart, but I'm gonna snip it. I'm gonna set the 14 inch wreath here. But before I do that, I want to put like a string on top so I know to tie, I'm gonna tie a string up top so I can hook it onto a hook. So let me go find my string that I'm gonna use for this. I found this 16 inch ribbon that I cut. I got this ribbon from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm gonna go ahead you can glue it or you can tie it. I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it since the glue gun is ready. You have to be careful because this glue is very hot. I've been burned many, 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 many times for many, many, many years. Go ahead and put them together, let it sit for like 20 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. You always, when you put mesh on, you always wanna do it this this side out versus this side in. Cause usually when I do this side in, I'm usually putting ornaments because it holds the ornaments better. But you always wanna do it this side out. So I'm gonna turn this around while that ribbon dry. I'm gonna put this here and grab my welcome sign and put it at the bottom. I'm trying to get an idea where I'm gonna lay it. So I like how it is. So, let me do something different. Cause I gotta know where to put the glue at. So I'm gonna do it, flip this over. So I know where to put the hot glue at. Put enough glue on here, making sure that it doesn't come off. Because you want this to be snug. The reason why I'm putting this on, hot gluing it versus tying it, um, no, I don't know. I just want to do something different. I usually get the pipe cleaners and tie it and do it that way, but. I want to see how this works. So we're going to let this sit for like 10 minutes and I will be back on the video. Moving on. The next step you like, you want to do is roll the mesh out onto the ruler. You can use a regular ruler. I have, I've just purchased, like I said, I just purchased this mat and this ruler because I did a lot of face masks this year. Check out my video, um, Cricut face mask as well as the um, Cricut face mask with iron on. I'm gonna make sure I have the link on this video so you can watch it. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out. I'll cut six inches, 
some more roll the way out. And don't you remember I said you're going to use your remote control as weight as well as watch more of my YouTube videos. So what we're going to, what I'm going to go ahead and do is move this out the way first. Push this over here and put it there. And measure, measure it. So I'm going to cut six inches. Six inches is right here. And then you got 12 right here. And then 24 would have been there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the six inches first. I'm gonna use the Chanel stem to hold this in down. I'm gonna cut the six inch first. You can use a rotary blade, you don't have to use scissors. I'm gonna go here to the number the number 12 and i'm gonna cut it here let see this this ruler only go up to like 23 inches so i want to make sure that these are six inches so all i'm going to do is move this down here don't forget about your remote control or your iphone or whatever you use and i'm gonna cut right here where it say six inches. And you can see when you lay this out, this is it. So you end up getting a total of four mesh and when you cut it this way. On this table, I have 59 mesh. So you would need 59 of this Chanel stem. I know this say 45 count. I have some extra ones that's cut out on the side. So you would need 59 of this. Um, you can, it doesn't matter what color it is. I just pick up this orange and I have some purple on the side. So let me move this to the side and show you how I'm going to roll the mesh. Okay, I have my Chanel stems and I'm gonna roll three on camera because if I roll them all on camera, this video is gonna be longer than when it needs to be. So well, the first thing I'm gonna do is fold the pipe cleaner in half and just cut up top. I'm gonna use the this half of this pipe cleaner. You can roll it, you can leave it like this, roll it, and you can have tight curls. But I'm not gonna do the tight curls. I'm gonna do like a butterfly wing or like a bow shape um, mesh style on this wreath. So when you do that, you roll like three times. So I'm gonna roll one time, two times, and three times. And then what you do is you bungle it up like that. And then get the Chanel stem. I wrap it once. I just try to make sure that the Chanel stem is even with the other side because I hate when I get the uneven Chanel stem. So I'm gonna twist it once and then put this to the side. I'm gonna get this one and do the same. You do a one, two, and three, and then you just do it like that because it looked like a bow. If you look at it, it looked like a bow. A bow, I'm, it sound like I'm saying like a cereal bow, but you understand what I'm saying. And talk about a tie bow, a, a bow. So you get the Chanel stem, make sure both sides match each other, make sure they're equal. Like I said before, I hate when it's uneven, you wrap it twice, you push it to the side. And I'm gonna do it one more time so you guys can get the picture. So you wrap it one, two, three, and then like like a tie bow. Then I gotta just cut the Chanel stem in half. So I'll hold this and cut it. Let's put this down. And do it once like you see you got like the crazy ends that's not even because this is like the 
end of the mesh so just cut it off some people what they do is they cut a straight line with a rotary blade i didn't do it i just say i just cut the raggedy part when i put it together so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the mesh off camera and i will be back showing you how to put it on top of the wire reef welcome back i feel like saying two hours later but it took me 20 minutes to wrap wrap this up i want to do some corrections before i move on i said i have 59 of the mesh from that row i end up with 60 because i recounted it and also said you needed 59 of these longs i meant to say that you have to cut it in half so what i'm about to get ready to do is go ahead and tie the mesh onto the reef you can add bows or ribbon to the mesh if you choose to. I'm like on the fence because I do got ribbons um, cut already, but may may not add, add it. So where I'm going to start off at, people have different preference how they start off on the wire reframe. So best trick, I don't, I don't have a trick. I just go with the flow. So I start off down here at the end some people start off here i start off here I, I just like i said i go with the flow whatever floats your boat just go with the flow it don't have to be a pacific area to start as long as you grab the two wires and tie it so i'm gonna go ahead and put this here flip this over scoot it down flip it over and tie it so with the extra extra pipe cleaner i'm going to wrap it around the wire frame so what i'm going to do on camera is go all the way up here to it because i don't want to make this video too too long because i am recording from my iphone so i'm gonna go all the way up here so you can get an idea of how to do this diy I'm gonna stop right here and kind of go over it a little bit. So what you're seeing me doing, I'm scooting it down, scooting it down so more can go on the second bar. And also I am adjusting, but at the adjusting the mesh, um, you will have a, you, you can adjust it now or you can wait till you finish all the way around to adjust it however you want to do it so i i like to adjust it right then and there and then when i do it again a second time that's the final time um by then i have like whatever um ribbons or ornaments or whatever i'm putting on this mess so let me quit talking and finish um adding mesh to the 14 inch wire reef Before I move on, I want to talk a little bit about this mesh, why I went to Joanne Fabrics and picked it up. As you can see, 
even though it say $9.99, I did get a deal for four, $4.49. And the measurement is 10 by 30. And the Dollar Tree mesh, I want to say it's like four inches. So this is the Dollar Tree mesh that I have from last year. It's four inches compared to 10 inches. So if I didn't put this sign here, it would have took two of these to make this whole thing fill out versus I want to say 10 of this. So that's why I didn't do it with the Dollar Tree mesh because I was comparing apples to oranges. And plus, I, I liked the colors. It was pretty. And it was on sale for $4.49. I mean, 60% off. That's not a bad deal. Sometimes it's good to check other stores to see if they have the mesh on sale. Because you can get a good deal. And then also, too, whoever is your cashier, they may make it even more cheaper. So it's always to be nice and courteous to cashiers. I came back on video because I had to stop and show you how to, because you see this is loose and you want it to stay put where it's at. So I'm at that point where I have to um, put a mesh by the thing that you hold up for the reef. So I'm going to push this here and I'm going to tie the mesh here. So. Give me a second. Flip this over. So I see what I'm doing. So you guys see what I'm doing. So I'm tying the mesh, I mean not the mesh, but the pipe cleaner three times. And then the extra pipe cleaner, I just wrap around it. And then I push it forward. So that way it doesn't move. Now, how many mesh that I'm putting on? I didn't count, so let me count right now. One. So it's 13 going around each ring. So it's going to be 13 going around. So I have 60. It should be enough. If I if it's not enough, I have a second row, and I will let you know if I have to add it later on. We're almost at the end of the video, but it's a few things that I wanted to do before I finish. I use all 60 of the mesh bungle. So what I'm about to get ready to do is give it like a haircut. Go around to see if there's any strings um, that's sticking out. So like here for it, sit down here, have these strings. So get some scissors and cut it because you wanted your reef to look neat and professional um also another thing i realized when i was doing it i meant to move the welcome down here so i covered this so since this opened it gave me another idea because i still have a lot of halloween craft um available right now so i'm about to get ready to put like spiders do different stuff down here I checked my craft supplies because I have a lot of Halloween supplies. This year, I said I'm going to go ahead and use all my Halloween. Instead of putting it up for next year, I'm going to go ahead and make something with it this year. So, you about to get ready to get a tons of videos from me making crafts for Halloween. Because I am going to get rid of my Halloween craft. So, next year, I have a fresh batch because Dollar Tree just came out with a whole lot of nice new stuff. And I was tempted to buy, but I said no. But back to what I'm talking about. So I have this mesh from um, Dollar Tree that I bought. And I did a video. It's had to be where. So I can't think of the name of the video. I want to say it's, um, I probably put it at the bottom. I want to say it was Halloween's um, DIY sign. But anywho, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. I need my ruler. I'm gonna lay this on top of my ruler. Trim baiting, because the puffs are six inches. Should I do this six as well? 
I'm gonna do this in six as well. So I'm gonna cut it here. You don't have to do this, but because by me not moving the side further down, it left a gap. And I don't want to see that green gap. You could put a bow there. But it did spark me an idea. So I'm going to cut this and I'm gonna cut this off camera. And I will be back to show you how it looks. You might be wondering how I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is go like this. Scrunch it up from the middle. Make it like a bow. It's funny, I can make this like a bow, but I can't actually make a bow. That's crazy. I'm push the Chanel stem because I got a lot of extra Chanel stems or pipe cleaners. And then I'm gonna grab the wreath because I don't know if I need that many on here. I might not. Um, start. Start right here. Like how you did with the um, mesh, you do the same with this. And just tie it. Another idea I just came popped in my head too is let me get this purple nail still. Cause you see how this spider web is um, hanging. You can get a Chanel stem. Did it purple. Cause I try to match the same colors as the um. Yeah. So let me get the spider right here. If you don't want this to move, let me put something under here. So it stay in spot. You you could put some glue on it. Or hopefully you can see this move it up a little bit more. You can have a spider hanging out here. Let's see. So you can see it. You can have them. If you can see it, hopefully you can. I mean get up yeah you can see it you can oops you can have the spiders crawling up the spider web i want to call it and then you can put a spider here and have them crawling up i am not finished yet i'm still working on this reef i went into my stash some more because i had a whole lot of Halloween in the attic and I finally went and got it now. I found these ornaments that I used last year for a video. I'll make sure I have the link up top so you can watch it. And I didn't have that many colorful ones. Only had a probably like four. So what I'm gonna do is show you how you can put it on the reef. And I'm gonna put this one at this end because it's one here. I'm gonna put one over here. So this is how it's looking so far. Let me fix my spiders down here because he trying, they trying to catch up with their friend. Tell me what you think about this reef. It took me like an hour, two hours to do this reef because I kept coming up with new ideas. Like I said, I've been trying to get all of my Halloween crap out the way. So I have three more reefs I'm going to be doing. If you like this video, make sure you comment down below hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button because I got plenty of crafts to do this year. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.